So I have this idea of what could a Lego Star Wars mock look like if you just use the sets, just what Lego provides you, the fan. What could that look like? No pick a brick wall, no brick link, no external Lego pieces to actually build things, just utilizing the sets, the figures, the kits, everything that Lego sells on their website. What could you do with that? We're gonna find out. So to get started, we have to figure out the size of this mock. I went a little above and beyond on it. Lego, of course, sells white colored base plates. And for this, I needed 64. After unwrapping all those base plates, it was pretty disappointing to see the amount of plastic that has to be thrown away. So you would think that all we can really do here is just put all the sets on the table with all these white base plates, that there's no way to create any elevation without using external Lego brick pieces, right? Well, you'd be wrong. So if you're wondering what this is, Lego and Ikea a few years back collaborated together on a bin that is integrated with the Lego bricks, meaning it works with the system. You can connect actual bricks, base plates, whatever it might be to these bins. They act as giant Lego bricks, thus giving us the ability to create the elevation we'll need to create a Hoth Echo Base. Extra credit to IKEA for actually using recyclable materials on their packaging. Next is probably my favorite part, the sets that I'm including in this mock that is based on sets. So I went out of my way and I purchased some old, brand new and sealed LEGO Star Wars Hoth sets within the last five to six years, going back to 2016. I like to think that I chose a variety of LEGO Star Wars Hoth sets, including the Assault on Hoth Ultimate Collector Series LEGO Star Wars set that was very controversial at its time of release in 2016. With the newly released LEGO Star Wars 2022 Snowtrooper Battle Pack, the return of the Battle Pack, of course I had to pick up just, just a few. And then we also have the Rebellion with the minifigure accessory pack, so also got just a few of those as well. So we have quite the setup of sets. So now that I had all of the LEGO Star Wars sets I need, all of the white base plates, all of these white Ikea bins, I could finally get to work. But we're missing one key set. 
Who said we just needed to use one? So with the two Ultimate Collector Series ATAT -AT walkers on the battlefield, I think we've come to the conclusion of what this final LEGO Star Wars mock, utilizing just LEGO sets and whatever LEGO sells, can be. So what did you guys think? A Lego Star Wars Hoth mock just utilizing sets, bins, and base plates that Lego themselves sell. No external bricks, nothing from Bricklink, nothing from the pick or brick wall. Honestly, this came out better than I had anticipated, which is a good thing. I did end up spending a lot more money on this video than I thought I was going to in the beginning. And yes, this is not sponsored by Lego. I went out of my way and purchased all the sets, every single one of those base plates, all of those Ikea bins came out of my own pocket. So if you appreciate videos like this, guys, leave a thumbs up down below. And while you're at it, hit the subscribe button if you wanna see me do something crazy like this again in the future. I am dying to see what you guys have to say about this, so please leave a comment down below. I will be reading them. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have a great, wonderful day. Bye-bye.